Tell us a little bit about Tailsun, a company, a manufacturer, project developer that a lot of people in the U.S. might not have heard of. Yes, if you go back into the history, Tailsun Solar has been manufacturing for about a year and a half to two years now. Uh, started the first production in early 2011. So in a very short amount of time, we've been able to solidify ourselves as a tier one module manufacturer. We've been able to do that uh, through getting third-party bankability uh, reports, uh, one through BEW Engineering. Uh, we've also been able to supply our module into the marketplace very quickly into large utility scale projects. We have two 100 megawatt projects in China. We've been also able to implement our modules into European projects. Uh, we have a 20 and 25 megawatt project in Germany and Italy respectively. Uh, and we've also been able to uh, get into the US market. Uh, last year, uh, we did about 60, 70 megawatts in the US, primarily through distribution commercial size projects, and this is the year that uh, we are able and capable of supplying to more of the utility scale ground mount projects. So the U.S. is a key focus for you then? Yeah, I mean, 2012 was a time where if you look at the global installations of where our product is uh, in the marketplace, we have about 50% in Europe, about 20% in the United States, 10% uh, in China, and then 20% to the rest of the world. So as 2013 and beyond comes into play, we're probably going to be lessening the supply of our modules to Europe a little bit more, but due to the growing markets in China and the U.S., we're going to have a higher proportion of our product uh, in those markets specifically. You know, as we see a shakeout in the Chinese solar market in particular, what does it do to your, to your costs? Yeah, I mean, in essence, PV modules are a commodity, or they will be very soon. Uh, our company's ideal has been manufacturing commodities uh, for the last 20 years. In PV modules, uh, you have to operate and manufacture uh, in a low-cost environment. Uh, as we get to uh, a, a state in the United States where we're going to be living without subsidies pretty soon, uh, we're going to need product that will be able to stand on its own two feet and also be lean as manufacturing to provide you know, the best cost to the marketplace. So when you talk about automation, how does that translate into differentiation of the product? Yeah, sure. I'll talk about a couple things. First is during the lamination process. We're able to put our product through a laminator that it allows us to reduce the air bubbles and external gases into the module. So during the final delivery of the product to the field, uh, we'll ensure that we have a high quality product that doesn't have those inconsistencies in manufacturing. On the other side, we're able to have a very highly automated soldering process. And when I'm talking about soldering, this is the process that allows us to create solder joints between the cells uh, during the stringing and the busing process. And this is a process that other manufacturers who have older manufacturing facilities have to go through a, a highly manual process. And this saves us time, limiting micro fractures, and consistency in manufacturing the product. Well, we'll look out for your activity here in the U.S. and elsewhere. Albie Fong of Tail Sun Solar, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you very much.